What's going on guys, it's Omni Eric, and today I want to bring you a brand new video talking about something that is kind of related to my last video. I don't know if you guys saw my last video, but it was basically talking about bullshit trends on YouTube. And it was basically just a super salty 20 minute or 18 minute rant uh, of me going on about how fucking stupid some of the trends are on YouTube and how it's just absolutely watered down, non-entertaining content. Uh, and today I want to talk to you guys about Keemstar and people like Keemstar, uh, specifically like Zoe Berger and people like that. Um, you know, those really like dramatic uh, attention hoary type of people. Uh, those are the type of people I want to talk about today because they are fucking geniuses in the YouTube entertainment scene. And I know a ton of people are going to disagree with me, uh, but I feel like there's a spectrum of like, let's just talk about Keemstar in general, right? So let's look at Keemstar. A lot of people, first time they ever hear about Keemstar, it's usually something negative, right? If you, if you, if you live in a world where you have no idea who Keemstar is, the first thing you're probably going to hear about him is something negative because he just, it's always negative. It's negativity with Keemstar. He sucks. Uh, and as far as that goes, right? As far as first impressions, he comes off as an asshole. So the first thing you're going to hear about Keemstar is he sucks. So pretty much everybody bandwagon hates Keemstar. Then you kind of come to a point where you watch a couple of his videos and you're like, oh, you know what? He's not so bad. He's like reporting the news and you know, it's whatever. He's not too bad. I kind of like the guy, right? And, and then my theory is that uh, someone that you respect more than Keemstar eventually makes an exposed video about him, uh, in which case you no longer like Keemstar. So then it goes from you hated him to you loved him and then you hate him again because either some new shit happened or there was an exposed video or you find out shit you didn't know about him even though he's been exposed about it a million times uh, over the past like fucking 10 years. Uh, and then you go into this new phase where you realize that Keemstar everything about keemstar right and this is like this is like reaching drama enlightenment on youtube a and you get to the stage where you know you thought once once you found out keemstar was exposed you thought you knew everything about him and you finally knew the truth about keemstar right? like oh he's a fucking scumbag finally i know he sucks cock fuck that guy uh and then like i said you reach a drama enlightenment stage where you realize that keemstar is the is the basically self-proclaimed bad guy of the internet even though he's not a bad guy he's basically just the guy who realizes the subconscious of everybody else on YouTube where he realizes that drama is always entertaining. Drama has been entertaining forever. It's been entertaining in all the other sources of media and he was the first person to openly do it very, very well and consistently and, and with good quality on YouTube. Uh, and he uh, sometimes on Twitter, especially not so much on YouTube, but on Twitter and on baited podcast and everything, he starts drama on purpose because it's entertaining. And the people that get it, who the people who are drama enlightened, as I'm going to I'm going to coin that term, the people who are drama enlightened, just get it. And they know that this is pretty much fake. This is pretty much WWE wrestling, world wrestling entertainment staged drama garbage it's tmz mtv trash right but everybody is entertained even if you know it's fake everything in hollywood you know taylor swift's relationships all that shit all that tmz garbage all the stuff that they report on fucking buzzfeed or wherever that's all faked garbage but it's entertaining for the masses and that that is the drama enlightenment and that is the genius behind Keemstar and all the other drama seeking and drama causing individuals in the YouTube community, in the Twitch community, specifically in the gaming community, but also in the commentary community. These are the people, and Leafy is another one, that's in my opinion why Leafy blew up because of the drama around Leafy, uh, and that's why there's so much drama going on in YouTube the past year or two because everyone realizes that drama is actually entertaining uh, and the people the two people involved it almost always benefits both people so when you are on drama alert when you get uh, exposed on drama alert or when you go on drama alert for an interview or when you when two people two youtubers clash and it gets reported on drama alert it's almost always better for both parties you know there's some instances where you know maybe there's a legitimate pedophile in the community or there's a legitimate you know uh sex offender or whatever it doesn't matter those things are important and that keemstar is there to report those as well um and those people usually their channels just end up dying because that's fucked up and they deserve to die but um you know as far as just petty drama 
that stuff is often staged uh and you know that's either it's staged in the dms or it starts to happen and then dms happen they're like hey let's spin this to get people angry and get people to follow me and follow you and and the numbers grow and it's interesting and it's entertaining and it's funny uh and it gets people hooked and watching and it's really really is it quality no is it quality entertainment no it's not quality entertainment but is it entertaining yes and that that is the beauty behind keemstar and drama alert because we live in a youtube world where everyone's watching glowing knife videos and that's fucking retarded that's seriously the dumbest shit uh i've ever heard D dumber than you know dropping shit from a fucking building that shit is just ridiculous it's the dumbest form of experiment it's the dumbest form of anything the content on YouTube is so watered down and unentertaining that literally all it does is get us to click on the video and then we're too fucking lazy to click away. There's not entertainment on these viral videos anymore. Uh, and the ones that are entertaining are the ones that are staged. And a lot of times it's Keemstar, uh, the drama around people like Keemstar. Then there's people like FoosyTube who fake pranks. And even though they're fake and people know they're fake, they're still entertaining. Uh, and, and it's, you know, and I'm not defending FoosyTube because, you know, he's kind of a piece of shit. But all I'm saying is you might hate Keemstar and you might not think that what he's doing is honorable you think maybe he has shitty morals you think maybe he ruined youtube by bringing in drama but the reality of the matter is youtube is watered down garbage at this point uh, at least in the masses eyes you know there's obviously people on youtube who are in certain niche communities and smaller communities where they're actually doing something really really cool uh, whether it's animated videos or it's just really good music or anything like that you know those smaller communities there's real talent on youtube for sure uh, but the mainstream stuff a lot of that stuff is either watered down garbage or it's being taken over by the late night show or by you know uh all these other actual like disney or these other real entertainment conglomerates that are trying to you know cash out on the youtube machine uh so when that's the mainstream garbage media on youtube what we actually need is actually entertaining content and if that comes in the form of petty dumb drama then i will welcome that wholesomely because it's still better than watching someone cut a fucking block of cheese with a thousand degree knife because that is just so fucking stupid and i would much rather hear two big youtubers who actually have followings and actually have fan bases argue over something that's not even that important and i don't care if i don't think about it a week later uh that is still more entertaining for the seven minutes that i sit down with my lunch to watch a youtube video that's still more entertaining than watching somebody cut a fucking bottle of coca-cola with a knife because that's just stupid like you know what the fuck is going to happen and that is why keemstar is a genius because he saw he saw this years ago when he first started drama alert he realized this when he was doing the bad kid podcast with blade way back in the day he knew this was going to happen. He knew that as YouTube got bigger, these YouTubers were basically celebrities and then there was going to be celebrity drama around them going forward. And that's what spawned drama alert. And it worked because it's actually entertaining despite people thinking that it's not good content because it is good. It is good. It is good content. I mean, is it quality eh, is, you know, there's not fancy editing and there's not fancy anything. You know, it didn't, there's no fancy like photographic shoots like a Casey Neistat video you know there's not uh, that type of artwork in, in it per se or that type of creativity but there is entertainment value there it is solid entertainment it's it's been around for years and years and years on TMZ and on TV and on uh, BET and MTV and everything like that and that's also where people like Zoe Berger come in and people like Leafy and people who just capitalize on the drama because they're smart as fuck too because they know they know that by getting into drama yes they're gonna piss off a ton of people but they're also going to gain a ton of people who follow them and back their support back and support them and basically uh, you know become fans of their content it's basically like collaborations were back in the day you know way back in, in like 2009 2010 on YouTube what you would do to grow your channel is you would collaborate with another youtuber and this is still a thing that people do you would collaborate with another youtuber maybe do a dual commentary or it's something like along those lines right and you would do two of them you would do one for each person's channel and then you would link each other's channels and then if you know whoever was watching that guy didn't know the other person they would go there and subscribe to him and vice versa and both channels would grow now what you do is in YouTube apparently uh, by the based on this trend and this is fine is you 
start drama with somebody and hope that they respond and then if they respond you respond back and usually this happens on twitter uh, and then you guys make a response video or you make an exposed video and this is how people fucking gain subscribers these days and is it stupid yes is it a game yes is it fake most of the time but you know the reality of it is it's entertainment it's entertaining on this platform and a lot of you might not agree but the reality is keemstar has had a million people attack him and his channel is still growing scarce is still growing philip franco slightly different story but of course he's still growing um you know so these channels are highly highly entertaining uh and they're fucking geniuses for realizing that drama is entertainment and all the people that have been taking advantage of this over the years starting drama and causing drama and being on drama alert uh those people are the people who actually know how to play the game you know the zoe burgers of the world they're the ones who are basically going to continue to grow on youtube in 2017 uh, and capitalize on these new trends uh, and try and actually be entertaining instead of following the fucking mindless stupid garbage that youtube algorithms are putting on the recommended bo in the recommended box or on the trending page or on the home page or whatever anyway i just wanted to talk about this i hope you guys understand my point of view if you guys have any other points or opinions that you want to talk about place them down in the comment section below uh if they're just gonna be like oh fuck keemstar then whatever you could just dislike the video i don't even care it's fine uh but if you did like the video and you do understand where i'm coming from then make sure you smack that like button i would really really appreciate it and if you want more videos like this one make sure you subscribe to my channel and that's pretty much it guys so thank you guys so much for watching this is omnerick and i will talk to you guys again soon peace